Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Is cockroach. Cockroach is an insect and we all are very much familiar with cockroach. So I don't really think that I need to introduce cockroach but still just for the sake of formality let us introduce cockroach. What is cockroach? It is generally black or brown colored insect. Now, talking about the color, it is not always necessary that they have to be black or brown in color. Sometimes you also see some different breeds, some yellow, red colored cockroaches as well. But mostly, whichever we see in our household or in our vicinity, they are generally black or brown in color. Habitat, where do we find them or where do they live? They live on damp places. Now that damp place can be any damp place. Maybe you, we so often see it in our houses, in our kitchen because kitchen is an area where uh, you tend to have wet things. You use a lot of water to wash your utensils or to prepare food. So there are certain damp places in and around your kitchen. So that is why you often tend to see cockroach there. Food. They are omnivorous, that is they feed on both uh, flesh as well as plants. That is, they can feed on some plant excreta, I mean, plant remains or some animals as well, small insects and all. They can consume any organic matter. I mean, obviously they cannot consume something like plastic, but anything which is organic, they can consume that. They can even, sometimes it is also seen that they can even eat hair, decaying matter, meat, etc. All these things are also their food. Talking about the size of a cockroach, well, it varies. Some, at some certain places, the size of the cockroach is very small, as small as 0.6 cm. Whereas in some places, they are quite big, around 8 cm as well. The cockroach are also famous as Obviously, as residents at our homes, they also become a part of our family members sometimes. And they are also famous for transmitting diseases. And that is why most of us have a cockroach killing spray at our house because we don't want them to be there. But still, most of the times they are there, but we keep killing them because they transmit so many diseases and therefore they are called pests. Right? So let us have a look at the scientific classification of cockroach. It definitely belongs to the kingdom Animalia because it falls under animal category. Phylum is Arthropoda. Arthropoda are the organisms or animals with jointed legs. So as you can see, the legs are jointed. Different, different, small, small parts are jointed together to form legs. So Arthropoda includes all the insects like ants, butterflies, cockroach, other small flies, everything comes under arthropoda. Class is Insecta, order Dictyoptera, family Blatidae, genus Periplaneta and species Americana. So Periplaneta Americana is the most commonly found cockroach. So this becomes its scientific name, Periplaneta Americana. Okay. So now as it belongs to the phylum Arthropoda, let us quickly have a look at the basic Arthropoda characteristics. What are the basic things which uh, any organism belonging to Arthropoda has? It is the largest phylum of Animalia kingdom. Okay, so that's something nice. In this phylum, you have so many varieties of insects that it becomes the largest phylum. Complex body or body differentiation. It is like a, it is not like mollusca or platyhelminths that very simple and not much complexity, not much organ differentiation. It is not like that. Here also we have specific organ, specific organ systems. So body is bilaterally symmetrical again. So if you divide the body from between, you will get two laterally similar halves. Made up of three layers of cells, triploblastic. I already discussed what is triploblastic. So it has three layers, ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm. Reduced internal body cavity filled with blood. So it is hemos, hemosilomate. That means body cavity is there, but body cavity is filled with blood. 
that is why it is called hemocelomate. Hemo is from the word hemoglobin and celomate means with true celom. So it has celom but it is filled with blood. That is why we say that all the organisms belonging to arthropoda, they do not have blood vessels. So blood inside their body, it doesn't flow through specific vessels. They do not flow through tube-like structures. It is just there everywhere. So the entire body cavity is filled with blood. So it is something like the entire thing is filled with blood and then the organs are like bathing in blood. So organs are floating in blood. Something like that. So that is why they are said to be hemocelomate. Organ system level of organization because we have distinct uh, organ systems like digestive, excretory and so on. Segmented body. So we are also in the body we have segmentation. However, the segmentation in arthropods are less prominent than those in case of annelids because annelids the name itself is segmented worms but here it is not like that. Segmentation is there but not as prominent as annelids. These are organisms with jointed legs and from there only it got its name as arthropod. Arthropod means jointed leg. They can be free living or parasitic that means they can also depend on others for their food or they can be independent in getting their food so that is they can have they can feed on anything. They are mobile obviously they can move from one place to another most of them have wings so they can fly as well and they also have limbs to walk around so they can walk as well as fly. So now we will talk about the morphology of cockroach. Now when we discuss the morphology, we are going to discuss a few things separately. First, let us talk about the most evident thing which is visible externally that is the body shape and size of the body and segmentation. As I said, these are also segmented. Now in this picture, it is very clearly visible. The segmentation is clearly visible, right? Okay. So let us talk about the segmented body. Now body is divided into three prominent regions that is I think by mistake it is two. Body is divided into three prominent regions that is head, thorax and abdomen. So which is head? This portion is head. This portion is thorax and the lower portion is abdomen. So the topmost portion is head which has the where we can see the eyes and the antenna. So that is our head. Then the next portion is thorax and the lowermost portion is the abdomen. So broadly it is divided into these three regions. Body is covered by exoskeleton. So outermost covering of the body is exoskeleton and exoskeleton is made up of chitin. It is also coated with wax because wax is impermeable to water. Because the protection, as I said, water regulation is a must for the outermost covering of the body because we need to strive the right water balance. It should not happen that too much of water keeps entering your body. At the same time, it should not happen that too much of water is going out of your body. So you have to face I mean there should not be dehydration as well. So the body is covered here with exoskeleton which is made up of chitin and it is also coated with wax which is impermeable to water. Now it is also seen that certain regions of the exoskeleton are little more hardened. So those hard regions of the, so they, they are so hardened that they form plate like structures. So those plates are known as sclerites. So hardened plates of exoskeleton on each segment are known as sclerites. So let us suppose there is one plate in this segment. Again there is one plate in this segment. So this is little more hardened. So these plates are known as sclerites. Now sclerites also have got two terms. Sometimes the sclerites which are present on the dorsal side. Now for a cockroach when I talk about dorsal side again the upper side that is the back side. When I say ventral side, the side towards it belly, the side which is towards the ground, that is ventral side. So the sclerites which is present on the dorsal side, they are generally termed as tergites. 
So tergites are the sclerites which are present dorsally and sternites are the sclerites which are present ventrally. However, they are nothing, they are not different, they are the same thing. Now there is an arthrodial membrane which joins the sclerites. Now as I said that these sclerites are nothing but hardened plates. So each segment will have one plate. Now how are these plates connected to each other? They are joined together by arthrodial membrane. So this is a very thin and flexible membrane which connects these. Because if, if there is no flexibility at all, then the outer surface of a cockroach would become very hard and tough. It will not be able to move at all. But that flexibility is provided by the arthrodial membrane. However, the sclerites are hardened plates. So each plate is very hard, but the way they are joined is quite flexible. So they can move. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.